uh, hip replacement is indicated and is an appropriate surgery for someone who has severe arthritis of the hip and that has failed non-operative treatment. Non-operative treatment can consist of therapy, uh, injections, and the use of medications. But in many cases, once all the cartilage in the hip is gone, uh, these treatments are no longer effective and helpful. In these cases, uh, we perform a total hip replacement. Hip replacement can be performed in a number of different ways. The surgery can be performed through the front of the hip, the side of the hip, or even through the back of the hip. Uh, one of the more common ways to perform a hip replacement, in fact the most common way to perform a hip replacement is through what's called the posterior approach. And the vast majority of hip replacements in the United States are still performed through this approach. This is a good approach. It's an approach that I use uh, sometimes. But it does split the gluteus maximus muscle. An anterior approach, on the other hand, utilizes a natural seam between two muscle groups. These muscles are not violated. They're simply spread apart, almost like you might spread curtains in a window. And this is less traumatic for the patient. Uh, but still allows someone to perform a full hip replacement through a small incision, about four inches in length. Early research about anterior approach hip replacement shows there may in fact be less muscular trauma uh, and quicker early rehab. And in my experience, I have performed both posterior approach hip replacement and anterior approach hip replacement. Both are good ways of doing a hip replacement surgery but in my experience as a surgeon, I feel the anterior approach offers, in many cases, a quicker early recovery. In my practice, I perform over 100 hip replacements per year. Over 95% of these hip replacements are performed through an anterior approach. In some patients, there are unique circumstances such as severe muscular contractures or severe bone loss, which may require the use of other approaches. But in my experience, most hip replacement procedures can be performed through an anterior approach.